close down your eyes. Welcome. Welcome to your practice. Welcome to your body, to your breath. Maybe this is the first time that you've actually stopped and become still and connected to yourself today. So embrace this time. We've got 30 minutes together to breathe, to feel, to move, to open, to get rid of like any like uh, angst that's going on in your mind or in your body or frustration. Like let's just get rid of all of that with movement, with breath, with connection, with finding that freedom in our bodies, in our breath, in our minds, in our hearts. So close down your eyes, just take a few moments. Sitting on the shin, sitting tall, honouring yourself, honouring your body, not pushing through any pains or injuries. It's your responsibility to take good care of yourself. Shoulders relaxed. Mouth is closed. Breath is in and out through the nose. And if you have that ujjayi breath, so that's like constriction at the back of the throat, creating that oceanic whispering sound, bring yourself into that breath now. And if you don't have that breath, don't worry too much, just keep the breath internal, in and out through the nose. Mm. Just opening the eyes. The palms of your hands come together to touch. Take an inhale, reach the arms up high. Take an exhale, take a stretch over to the right side. So we're going to hold a little bit, find some release in the body, and then we're going to move. So find space. On your inhale, lengthen up out of your waist. On your exhale, reach over to the left side. Remembering if you're up onto your shins, then this is still available like so. Or if you need to sit on your butt, then take that option. Adapt the practice for you rather than trying to force your body to go to somewhere it doesn't want to go. Take an inhale, lift the right arm up high, stretch. Take an exhale, come over to the left. So extend that right arm up and over your ear. Stretch all the way through to the fingertips. Now on your inhale, sweep the right arm forward. Sweep, sweep, sweep. As you exhale, left arm follows, open chest. Just moving through the body, do it again. Inhale, so you'll feel, we'll all feel different, we'll all look different as we move like this, but just do it so it feels good and available. Really find space across the chest. Let's do it again. Or inhale, we'll take it forwards. The left arm follows, exhale, open up. Take another one like that, inhale, exhale. Inhale, come all the way up through center. Exhale, pull the elbows down, pull the elbows back and lift the fingers. See if you can take the fingers back and the elbows forwards and then look up. Feel the stretch and the space across your chest. Breathe here. Nice release. From there, take an inhale, raise the arms up high. Take an exhale, do it again. Pull the elbows down, lift chest and heart out and up. And release back. Interlace the fingers behind you. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, listen carefully, the right hand comes to the left hip. So you're going to push the palm of the left hand into the right hand and hold that position. So you're feeling a stretch along the right side of the chest for sure. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower your left ear to your left shoulder. Oh, and feel that stretch into the right side of the neck. I'm not going to lie, I've got a lot of tension in my neck and my shoulders right now. It's my place to hold it. So I'm with you, I'm creating this release in this space, trying to really, really soften and let 
that go. Whether it's too much time spent <laughs> on a laptop, too much time on a phone, or whether it's the fact that I just need a flipping good hug. Anyone else out there suffering with that? <laughs> Inhale, come back to centre. Exhale, we're going to switch it over to the other side. So take your hand to the right hip. Push the palm of the right hand into the left. Take an inhale. As you exhale, right ear, right shoulder. Breathe into the left side of the neck. jaw. Just enjoy this time out for you, away from work, away from the screen, just to feel into your body. This is so important. Becoming aware, becoming present in what's happening internally. When we're present when we're aware, we can work on creating that change raising our vibration. But if we just stay in the head and the mind, depending on what's happening within the head and the mind, that can actually take us to a lower vibration. Inhale, head to center. Step into the heart, bringing you into this place of presence, brings you into that higher vibration I often talk about. All right, come off the shins, bless you. Take a tuck of your toes under. So this is called Toes Pose. It's a real treat for you all on a Wednesday lunchtime. You're going to tuck the toes to the best of your ability to get a stretch into the soles of your feet. Now if you can, draw the heels towards each other. If you can, relax the shoulders. Because if you've all of a sudden done this, because ah, it kills, notice Pull the shoulders down, relax the jaw, and knowing that if you feel a lot of tension in the soles of your feet, you are probably with every single other person that is currently doing this practice right now. <laughs> but you just need to breathe into it. Deepening the breath, lengthening the breath. I'm not holding you here much longer, I promise you. Just give it another breath. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. Come forwards onto your hands and your knees. Thank goodness. Untuck your toes. Take a little tap of the feet. We're just on the ground, just releasing. Feel pretty good. All right, spread through the palms of the hands. Let's move our spines. Take an inhale, lift your gaze and arch through your back. As you exhale, we come into cat pose. So push the ground away, tuck the chin, round the spine, really push through the shins, find all this space in the back. So inhale, look forward and now arch the back. Looking up, see if you can open up through the throat so the gaze goes up. As you exhale, tuck the chin, round the spine, push the ground away, pushing the floor away. And again, inhale. Exhale. Take one more there. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale there. Take an inhale, lift the left arm up high. You're going to stretch, 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 reach up, open the left side of the chest. And then as you exhale, feed the left arm underneath your right armpit. So you're going to drop onto the left shoulder, left ear, and then the right arm. You have a couple of options here with the right arm. You can extend it forwards, or you can take the arm up and back. So you're creating a slight rotation. That might be too much. It might be amazing. Everyone's so different. Find what works for you. Breath. No matter where you are within the practice, within the pose, even if you're just sat or you're in child's pose here, just make sure you are breathing because that will give you the benefits. 
Along with all of this, the movements that are creating the stretches, but if you stop and just breathe, then you'll notice how it completely changes your mood. Mm. Sigh it out, release it. Bring your right hand back to the ground. Make your way up all fours once again. Take an inhale, lift your gaze, arch your back. Take an exhale, tuck your chin around your spine, push the ground away. Take another one like that, inhale. Exhale. Back to neutral, so we'll switch it over. Take the right arm up high, reach and stretch. Take an exhale, right arm under left arm, lower onto your right shoulder, your right ear. Draw your right shoulder away from your ear so you're finding more space. And then left arm extends forwards or open the chest. Depending what's happening with your body, like my chest is really tight. So you might find, when I say really tight, tight in my world. So you might find that the arm doesn't go back too far, but it still feels pretty good. Or it might just feel better to have the arm extended forward. All is welcome. Listen to what your body needs. Honour it. Take a little mix of both, like I'm doing. Bring the left hand back. Make your way onto all fours. Now, if you've been typing all morning, we're going to create some space in the forearms. So give them a little bit of love. Turn the fingers back towards the knees. So we're coming into this position. Make sure you don't internally rotate the shoulders. So you're not coming to this position, you flip it the other way. So fingers going back. Yeah? All right. This might be where you stay. The other option is to tuck the toes under and sit the butt back to the heels. The heel of the hands might rise slightly. And then breathe into the forearms. I'm not here to confuse you to make anything challenging or complicated. I'm here right now on your Wednesday lunchtime to help you to connect to your body, to release tension, to step out of your head, into your heart. Give it breath, give it time. And if it's excruciating, then ease out of the pose a little bit. Don't make it excruciating. Another breath. And then come back to centre. Hey, bring both hands back. All of a sudden you've got brand new forearms. <laughs> you're going to work into, so you've worked into this part of the forearm, you're going to work into the front of the forearm. So flip your right hand, so the back of the hand to the mat, the fingertips go back. And we're going to do one at a time because it can get very tight, it's very tense. I mean, feel free if you want to do both, then don't let me stop you. I can't see you, so I can imagine you there though. That's why I keep smiling at the screen because I'm just imagining you watching and doing it. Breathe here. Stay with it. And then switch sides. And you'll probably more than likely find that one side is a little bit more tight, restricted or tighter than the other. And that's really normal. your jaw, so don't fight it, don't battle it. Release. Hands back to the ground. 
Spread the palms of the hands. Actually, let's take a little seat back to heels. So let's shake the hands out. Shake it out. Shake out that energy. Ah. Feel good? Bring your hands back to the ground. Tuck your toes and make your way to downward facing dog. So, downward facing dog, the in, this inverted V position. Lift the butt up to the ceiling. Palms of the hands are spread. Feet hip width apart. Now bend your knees low. So like this is obviously the first downward facing dog of your practice, maybe your day, maybe ever. <laughs> All is good. So listen, work with it. You might pedal out through the feet. Find space. And then just be still. Push through the ground, lift the butt up high, just do your best in the pose. Finding length in the back body. Take an inhale and roll it through, take high plank. So, set the shoulders above the wrists. Activate the butt, don't just sag the hips down. Let's create this strength, this alertness, this awakeness in the center of your body. We've been sat down on periods of time. These areas, they get lazy. They forget they have to do the work. So use them, activate them. The knees down are your option. Adapt the practice and the pose that you can do it for you, for your body, rather than just stopping and giving up. Breathe. And then the knees are your option to lower down as you lower to the mat. Untuck your toes and take a little movement through the spine. So take the hands and come onto the fingertips. So tensing the fingers. Now push the tops of the feet and the shins into the mat. Let's move through the spine. Let the head hang heavy. Back of the heart lifts you up. Now you're all, we're all diff very different here. So it might be that you don't lift up too far. Lift up, lift your gaze, you can pull your shoulders down, and as you exhale, chest brings you to the mat. So do that again. Not putting any pressure through lower back, so tuck your, tuck, tuck your pelvis under, sorry. Inhale, keep the tuck of the pelvis, back of the heart lifts you up. Exhale, lower down. And again, inhale, soften the shoulders, use the back body strength to lift you. Exhale, lower. Take two more like this. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. Plug the palms of the hands to the ground. Tuck your toes back under, push back, downward facing dog. Breath here, inhaling. Exhale. Take an inhale, lift the right leg up. Take an exhale and step the right foot to the outside of your right hand. Now, if you've got sensitive knees, you can pop the cushion or the block underneath that left knee. Come onto your fingertips. So have a look at your right knee a second. Make sure the knee is stacked above the ankle so that you're not, the knees are shooting forwards with the toes just so that you can get the correct, create the correct stretch and release in the hip. <laughs> Breathe here, inhale. Exhale, make sure you're not sticking your butt out like this otherwise you're really avoiding a real treat. So lower the hips down. Another breath. Plant the left hand down to the ground and take your right hand to your right knee. Now come onto the outer blade of the right foot and see if you can encourage the right knee a little wider. Now right shoulder relax. And again, just finding space. Now you might find that you can actually rotate and look back over your right shoulder, that might feel good, that might not feel good. Do what feels good. Another breath. Mm. 
Release the sole of that right foot back to the ground. Sweep the right arm forwards, up and back to twist. Now with the, with the fingertips reaching back, right fingertips reaching back, let your head and your neck relax here. And actually we're creating this stretch into the right side of the neck. Try not to let it look down. See if you make sure you're looking to the side, whether that's at me at the screen or wherever I am, I don't know, in your, in your yoga space. Let the head relax. Take an inhale, as you exhale, keep reaching back and extend through your right leg. Now it might not go fully straight, just whatever feels available. And now this right arm, this top arm, reach over. And you might be like, ah, what is she doing to me? <laughs> you might feel a bit like that. And that's okay. Just breathe a little deeper, knowing that I promise you I'm trying to help you. All good intentions here, coming from here, I promise. Take an inhale. Exhale, reach the right arm up, bend the right knee, take the right hand to the ground, push back, downward facing dog. Take a breath there, inhaling. Exhale, don't move around the way I have, I'm just doing it so that I look at you. <laughs> take an inhale, left leg rises up. Take an exhale, left foot steps to the outside of the left hand. Pop the right knee, pop the right knee down and block underneath the knee or cushion underneath the knee. All right, I want your knee. And then take a few moments to breathe here. So we're gonna look different in this, but what I do want you to focus on is this hip, right hip flexor, the front of the right hip, the one that closes off through being continuously sat down. I want you to focus on opening that. Lengthen your spine, try not to try not to round and come take your fingertips. So we'll give you more space. And the other thing to do, one more thing, is breathe. <laughs> and I say that a lot, but often what happens is when the body, when the body feels like it's going somewhere it doesn't know or isn't familiar with, or maybe it thinks it's in danger, your automatic response is to hold your breath. Now if you hold your breath, your body tightens up you come into fight flight. But actually we want to relax our breath to open. Take the right hand to the ground, take the left hand to the left knee and encourage that left knee out. Yeah. Encourage it out, out of the left foot and rotate so you're looking back. Only if that's available. If it doesn't feel so good then just Find your place. It's a breath. Hmm. Return the left foot to the ground. Take the left arm forwards, up and back, and twist. So with the head and the neck, let it relax. Now extend the left arm up, extend your left leg as much as you can. You might shift your right hand back and make sure you're not leaning all the way over to the right side of the mat, which is what I was doing just there. Shift your hip, your left hip to the left side and then the left arm up and over. Our body does this magical thing of avoiding releasing, right? So it will go into different positions to avoid that release. So just be aware when that happens. Maybe look up. And release the left hand back down. And you're going to make your way onto your backs. So lay down. Now extend your left leg forwards and draw your right knee into your chest. Draw the right knee across the body to the left side and take the right arm out long to the right side. So coming into this spinal twist. 
you should feel a release into your lower back. You probably feel a stretch and opening into the right side of the chest. And you might feel different things happening within your body. And that's okay, but just listen and work with them. Make sure your right knee, you can use your left hand to draw your right knee up a little bit higher. Stay with it, allow the body to adapt. One more breath. And then come back through centre. Just give both knees a little squeeze. And the right leg extend that forwards. Knee stays into chest. Right hand to left knee and draw the left knee across the body to the left side. Right side I mean. And then left arm out to left side. And try and lengthen all the way through to the fingertips. And surrender here, surrender, enjoy this time. Remembering working the pose into your body. If the pose doesn't look the way I'm demonstrating, it doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. It's just that we're all in different places within our body, working in to stretching, to releasing, to understanding. Just honour yourself wherever you are in your journey within your practice. Like I said, knowing that you're connecting and you're breathing into your body, you are literally way over 50% of the way there. Because once you get that, the rest will come with time and practice. Come back to centre. Give the knees a squeeze. And extend your legs up to the ceiling. And you might have a load of bend in the knees and that's all good. And extend the arms up to the ceiling. You're going to rotate, rotate the ankles and the wrists. And you might hear lots of clicks and pops from me <laughs> or from your own body. I don't know if you can quite hear those. Can surely assure you they're happening. And then we'll go the other way. Releasing tension, sending energy. All right, I want you to join me in this. If you are on your own in the room and you can really let go, if you're not, then still really let go. Kind of just work with it. And I want you to shake the legs. And you're going to shake the legs loads. And just really shake out. So it's like you're getting rid of all this like stuff in your body that you don't want. And then shake the arms. This stuff is energy, this like frustration, <sighs> this being controlled with what you're doing, knowing that it's all for the best. We're just bearing with it, staying with it, st making the most of this time. Like really shake, 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 shake. Ooh. Maybe you shake your head from side to side. I don't know. Just do whatever you feel, whatever you need. Keep shaking, keep shaking, keep shaking, keep shaking. Remember, you can't look as stupid as me because I'm, I'm the one on camera doing it to however many people. Keep going, keep going, keep shaking, keep shaking, keep shaking, keep shaking, keep shaking, keep shaking for four, for three, for two, one, and stop. <sighs> Just keep the hands and the legs where they are. Take an inhale, as you exhale, release the arms down, release the legs down. Allow your body to relax. Notice your breath. Notice the energy in your body. Notice the feelings, the sensations, the physical body, the mental body, what's happening in the mind. How do you feel emotionally? How do you feel energetically, spiritually right now? You might not feel any different or any of those things particularly, but just be aware of what's happening. Being out of the external and into the internal. It is so powerful to come into that place. <sighs> gradually, 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 the knees draw into the chest. 
and take a roll onto your right side. You rise up to seated. The palms of the hands, they join together, thumbs to stone to your heart. Now on your head to your hands in deep gratitude of your practice, deep gratitude of this time that you've spent for yourself, changing your mood, changing your focus. Thank you for sharing this time with me. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone.